What up? I'm just going to show you how to make battery cables that we use on our summit hose reels. We use for battery cables anything that is bigger than a um, ring terminal. Um, you can get the pink ones, which are 8 gauge, but um, for the summit hose reels, they recommend using 6 gauge wire. Um, this is a, a connector we put on about two years ago, and it will not come off when we solder it. So the first thing we want to do is, is we will, um, we use these ring terminals. We get the ring terminals from, um, um, you can actually, these I bought from um, Tractor Supply or um, Menards, but I actually found they're about three, they're about two bucks a piece at those places. You can get a pack of 25 off of Amazon for $10. So that's, I'll have the link below. And so the first thing you want to do is you take the wire, you, uh, you want to measure how far the wire is going to go in there. Then you will, uh, you don't cut the wire, you're just basically um, removing the cover there. Once we remove the cover, I use a pair of vice grips, a pair of, um, a vice works good, but um, a lot of times if you're on a mobile, um, I always just use the vice grips. I twist it and what that does is it keeps any um, from not um, going in and you just slide it in there like so. Kind of get it standing up there. Then we'll take rosalin um, solder. Um, there's actually two different types of solder. There's one for pipes and then there's one for um, electronics and stuff like that. You get the one for electronics with a torch. What you do is you start, you want to start heating up the, um, the metal piece and you want to actually bring the solder from the other side here. And what this does is it lets it know when it's hot enough it actually pulls the solder to the heat. If we just started here and going at it, it might not get the other side. So that's the reason why I always use um, start on the other side, whether it's a big cable, little cable. Um, once it starts here, it'll start pulling it in pretty good. It's not yet. All right, there it goes. And you just fill this thing up so it's full of solder all the way to the top. That way we know we got a good connection. And this will actually go pretty far up in that water. Alright. All right. It's full of solder. Take the other hand here and just push it in there to make sure. And it's pretty hot right now. It's actually, that solder is all the way up where my fingers are. I can feel the heat up that far. We'll let that cool down. And then the next thing we can do is we'll put some heat shrink on there and we'll heat shrink it down to make it good. And then I always use um, wire loom on my positive cables and slide the wire loom on these on the positive cable. You can do the negative too. But the reason why I do that for, it just gives that positive cable something more protection. Um, if it's vibrating somewhere, it's so that way it don't vibrate, rub, and then rub a hole and then short out. It's got to actually go through that, then that, and usually this works fairly well. But uh, again, um, I'm just making some battery cables. We use them for our batteries on the truck. We use them for anything six gauge or less. And hey, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. If you have any questions, um, please ask down in the comments. Um, if there's anything that I've linked below, um, please, um, it'll be an affiliate link to help pay for my kids' diapers. So please subscribe and have a great day. Thank you very much.